I'm here with Shannon Fuster at the Creator Cocktails Red Carpet Event presented by the Independent Web Creators of Canada. Talk to me a little bit about the project you're working on and your involvement in it. Absolutely. I'm the producer of a project called Crystal Clear. Uh, we are going into our second season. Our first season was funded by Ontario Creates and the IPF uh, and Kojiko. And uh, yeah, we're really excited to be going on to season two. What makes this project special to you? To me, um, I think it's very topical and very timely. It's about a YouTube celebrity who wakes up one morning to discover she's invisible and all of her followings are tanking and she has to enlist her twin sister to be her. But her twin sister's having none of it, so it's, uh, yeah, I think it's very topical. Underlying everything, it's about who are we really when we're actually alone. You know, when nobody's looking, when we're not checking our phone every four seconds, like, who are we? So I think it's our writer Amanda Fay. He did a really good job of getting to the heart of of who who are we trying to be versus who are we. So. Those are amazing questions and like things that we all I'm sure think about, and that's that's wonderful. What um what has been during like this whole production? What has been your most memorable moment? My most memorable moment. I think it was the first time we saw it all come together because Crystal's invisible. We have one actress, Melanie Leishman, playing two girls, playing uh, Crystal and her twin sister, Kyle. And so while we were filming it on set, it felt a little bit weird because we kept flipping the camera around and then it was Mel and then it was Kyle. And then uh, when it finally all came together, it was just kind of amazing to us that Mel had done such a beautiful portrayal of two very different women. And, and yet she had like very little time to prepare, production was very strenuous, it moved really fast, uh, so yeah, I think that was my, my favorite moment, was watching it all come together for the first time, yeah. Now we are here at the IWCC's November event, Creator Cocktails. What does a, a night like tonight mean to you? I think it's really wonderful um, to be here and uh, to hear Andra's stories uh, and to uh, recognize what an incredible presence she's been in this industry for the last 28 years and uh, I'm so happy that she's been a champion for all of us, uh, furthering all of our careers. It's just been incredible and so you know we're just grateful to be here to celebrate um, like all of this work that she's done over the past 28 years. And how do you feel members can benefit from being part of the IWCC? That's a great question. Um, I think that the best thing uh, you can do as an, a member of the IWCC is come out to the cocktails and network and meet as many people as you can and just see if you strike up, you maybe meet your next producer, maybe you meet your next writer. So yeah, you never, you never know who you're gonna meet, and there's tons of talent right now in these walls. Yeah, and not to mention to you a web fest because yes. like that's yes. just fantastic. It's such a great festival. We're all looking forward to that for sure. Do you have any suggestions or ideas on? other events that the IWCC can put on to help to help its members. Oh my gosh. Um, hmm, that's a great question. I wonder if maybe like a boot camp or two would help. Maybe maybe that's too complicated to like or maybe like a, a more in-depth sort of like let's sit down and pick apart this application and like really think about like how to answer the questions that the IPF and uh, the Ontario creates and like how how to really answer those questions that they're posing how to really bring the best project to them. Yeah. Again, like all great answers. <laughs> and just for fun, um, if you could travel back in time, how would you describe digital content creators to Abraham Lincoln? Specifically Abraham Lincoln? Uh, it's like theater, but you can watch it on a little black box you carry around in your pocket. <laughs> and like, that's a terrible idea, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. It was lovely chatting with you. I hope you had an awesome time at this event and can't wait to see you at the next one. Yeah.